we are um, this is a live streaming not live sorry this is a recording from uh, the Lamo classic on Saturday the 1st of July and I have had the honor of having with us uh, no no less a personality than Andrea Zagato the third generation of the Carrozzeria Zagato the most famous of one of the most famous of Italian Carrozzeria's coach builders ever so May I, I will start off this by letting Andrea say a, a few words about himself. Is this the first time that you are at Lamar Classic? What do you think of it? What are your impressions? Uh, yes, it's first time for me at Le Mans Classic. Uh, I would say it's an unbelievable event. It looks like uh, the uh, automotive uh, bootstock uh, for some reason. Uh, I, I think 10,000 cars and uh, 900 cars on the track. So I, I, I think one of the best uh, racing events uh, in the world. So as you know, this is the centenary celebration of um, Le Mans um, and uh, a very historic event by itself. And you have taken this occasion to come for the first time and to bring some vehicle to display. Why did you do that? What was, what was it that you had in mind before that? Uh, I just celebrate uh, 100 years of collaboration between uh, uh, Zagato and Alfa Romeo uh, two years ago. Uh, to celebrate them, we developed uh, a new car that uh, has been named Alfa Romeo short wheel, Giulia short wheelbase, based on a Giulia GTIM with shorter wheelbase. And the car is here. Uh, but uh, in order to be in Le Mans for the 100th anniversary, we decided to, uh, to bring four cars because uh, the victory at Le Mans of uh, Alfa Romeo happened four times. So we decided not only to bring here the short wheel base, but also an SZ, a recent car, a, a TZ free Stradale, the white, and the free, a TZ free Corsa, the, the red. The red um, where, how do you see this event significance in connection with the historic vehicle movement? around the world and that of the role of FIVA which as you know is a federation that federates the historic vehicle movement around the world. Well uh, I definitely believe this event uh, would be super significant for FIVA. I, I see also a pavillon here of Aramco that is uh, suggesting the, the opportunity for historical car to have a new fuel, a new fuel that will last uh, the life of this car forever and this for me is super significant for the for this uh, purpose because we don't want to move to electric also with the old vehicles of course we don't want to transform them into electric car of course we like the sound the smell and uh, the atmosphere of uh, of endothermic engines uh, do you see yourself participating at um, historic events like this, such as Le Mans Classic or anything else which FIVA is also involved with? Do you see uh, yourself participating in more of these in the future? Uh, well, uh, we have 100 years, we are more than 100 years old. We have uh, produced uh, more than 550 different models of car for 45 different brands. So, uh, unless the brand, uh, the car and the history of car is not significant anymore for the future, I, I, I believe we should participate to other events like this. Thank you. Thank you very much.